Hey, perfect timing. I'm just about to plug her in. Oh, okay, good. Fire her up. And let there be light. <laughs> wow, that's festive. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? <laughs> All right. 79 more to go. I see my timing is perfect. I spent the day at the senior center crafting a one-of-a-kind ornament for our tree. <laughs> okay, what is this? It started out as a coffee mug, it became a reindeer. Hang it up, please. No, it doesn't look like a reindeer. It looks like something a reindeer left behind. Don't push me during the holidays. Doug, just do what he says. Carrie, this thing's a brick. It'll drag the whole tree down. Hang it up, or I'll bust this angel wide open. Hey, put that down, it's fragile. So help me, I'll do it. You do, and uh, Vixen here is coming right at your head. You want that? Yeah, try me. All oh, right, the phone's on you. you. Stop you. it, stop it. Where is your Christmas spirit? <laughs> now, Dad, I will find a prime place for this on the tree, okay? Now hand over the angel. Nice and slow. <laughs> this isn't over. Sleepy head. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Come on downstairs. I got something for you. Dad, is it Christmas tomorrow? I couldn't wait. Come on down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep those eyes closed. Keep them closed. Oh, mother. Watch for that. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Merry Christmas. So, what do you kids think, huh? Well, it's, uh, it's cozy. <laughs> Where did it come from, Arthur? Did you build it? <laughs> no, no. What we have here is a Duschenberger, made in Luxembourg, most popular car on the road over there. Well, I assume they are tiny people. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this old buddy of mine happens to be an importer, cheese mostly, but when I told him my kids needed new wheels, he pulled some strings and got me this one. Right off the boat. You know how fast this thing goes zero to 60? How fast? I don't know. <laughs> it's nice, Dad, but you really, really shouldn't have. No, no. You kids deserve this. No, well, we don't. <laughs> sure you do. You're going to be the envy of the neighborhood. See? Check out all the looks we get. <laughs> oh, my God! Go faster! I'm already going as fast as I can! Remove funny bone. Right there. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> All right, enough of the holiday yakety yak. Let's get down to the real reason we're here wrapped merchandise. <laughs> Deacon, this one's for you, and it looks like from Doug. Well, what do you know? Here you go, bud. No, thanks. Come on. My sources from beyond the grave say you'll like it. You mean it's batteries included? Thanks, man. Well, it is yours, and I did steal it from you. Yeah, bring it in. All right, guys, save it for under the mistletoe. All right, Holly. Here you go. This is for you. Merry Christmas. Carrie, you didn't need to get me anything. Uh, I think I did. <gasps> oh, my God! Oh, my God! It's gold earrings! Oh, my God! This is the best gift I've ever gotten! Hope you like it. Oh! I do. Gosh, I'm kind of embarrassed. 
generous about my gift to you, though. Oh, please, I'm sure whatever it is, I'm sure I'll be delighted. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Okay. Is it folded? <laughs> A lot. Silly, open it up. Okay. A mug? Yeah, I painted it at Color Me Mine. It's for your hot cocoa. Look, it says, Merry Swissmas. Swissmas. Yeah. I, yeah. I get it. That's great. All Thank right, you. sweetheart. Our turn to swap. Here okay. you go. Thank you. And here you go. Oh, what a lovely box. I have a feeling my ship has come in. Goodness. You bought me the leather jacket? Another old man cap? Where's my cruise? How'd you know about the cruise? She told me. He said he was gonna punch himself. I can't believe this. I get a stupid cap, and this stranger gets a pair of beautiful gold earrings. Hey! I had to get her the gold earrings. I thought she was buying me a leather jacket. Plus, I had to get Doug his friggin' mentalo. Hey! This is mental man. It's the same thing. Mental man is the cheap knockoff. What's the difference? Fez Turban. Wake up, woman! <laughs> Who cares about that crap? I'm supposed to go to Bermuda. I already got my shots. Okay, butt out, Arthur, okay? Doc, leave him alone. Okay, calm down. Yeah, it's easy for you to say you got mental low. Look, mental man's pretty good, too. Then trade with me. Oh, I don't want no knockoff. Well, what's the difference? Your parents didn't love you enough to buy you either one. Shut up, man. No, give me the mental one. Get away from me. Give me the mental Leave me alone. Me Stop me that! So? What are we doing about my problem? Dad, I can't afford to send you on the cruise right now. I'll send you for your birthday, okay? Fine. You can have this back when I set sail. Oh, don't be ridiculous. That cap I got you is great. I can't stand those caps. Crazy, What's up? <laughs> yeah, laugh and walk, boys. Laugh and walk. Step in, huh? Yeah, that goes for you guys, too. Let's go. Keep it moving. It's the same as last year. Keep it moving. You saw it. Excuse me. Do you have the time? Who wants to know? Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm Larry Kelly. I'm around the corner. Guarding the Christmas tree. Oh, hi. Hey, yeah, it's about uh, 9.15. Doug Heffernan, how's, uh, how's it going on your beat? Oh, not bad, not bad. A couple of curious dogs, yeah? Collies, yeah. They tried to give me some trouble. I sent them packing. <laughs> hey, sweetie, what are you doing here? Hi, they're saying it might snow, so I brought you some soup and your heavy jacket. <sighs> oh, thanks, honey. That's great. This is Doug Heffernan, fellow parishioner. Doug, my wife, Kathy. Nice to meet you, Doug. Nice to meet you, <sighs> Kathy. Oh, if I had known there were going to be two of you, I would have brought some extra minestrone and another jacket. Hmm. That's all right. My wife's going to be stopping by any minute, I'm sure. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just give her a call. Hello? Hey, honey, it's me. Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's cold. <laughs> I tell you that, I could really go for some soup. Oh, it's so funny. I just had some. <laughs> uh-huh. You know, uh, they're saying it's gonna snow tonight. Oh, really? Well, try not to track any in the house, okay? <laughs> oh, I just messed my pinky. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> I love you too, baby, yeah. If we go to visit them in Florida, they don't give us their bedroom, do they? No, we sleep on a fold-out couch that smells like a cat. You, look, you're right, I'm sorry. I just can't look my parents in the eyes and say, you know, Mom, Dad, you're sleeping next to the fax machine. Merry Christmas. You don't have to say anything. When you bring their suitcases upstairs, just put them in the office. You had her suitcase in this room. You couldn't just close the deal? I just froze up. I tried to speak, but the words wouldn't come. All right, forget about it. It's not the end of the world. Well, by the way, we got to buy her a computer. Okay. <laughs> you know
know what? If I don't get a freaking baby out of this, you are so dead. Yeah. All right. Hop on in, Butch. Oh, God, it's creaky. Oh, it's okay. Just come on. It's, it's okay. not going to hold us. Just go slow. Come on. <laughs> you see? There, it stopped. Yeah, because I'm just lying here. But once we start doing stuff, it's going to sound like Geppetto's workshop in here. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you ready? All right, here we go. Okay. Easy. All right. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Dougie, I forgot to tell you. I promised Lou Maria that we'd go see his grandkid in this Christmas choir show tomorrow night. You remember Lou, don't you? Yeah, Lou, yeah. Yeah, well, you, so you come. I mean, it mean a lot to Lou and your mother. Sure, Dad, we're there. Okay. Good night. Good night. Okay, that didn't help. <laughs> no. Has your dad always had those brown spots on his legs? I couldn't tell you. You know, they could laser those okay, right off. Okay, you know what? This isn't helping either. Okay, I'm sorry. You're right. I love you. Okay, come on. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Won't take long. <laughs> we'll have sex in a minute. <laughs> okay, I'm at least six inches lower than last time. Let's just forget about this tonight, and tomorrow morning we'll talk to your parents and, and tell them what's going on and have them give us our bedroom. No, 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 I don't want to have that conversation with them. Why not? Because I don't feel like asking my parents to help me have sex, okay? You know, I'm funny that way. <laughs> All right, how about this? Tomorrow night we blow off that choir thing, and then we'll have the house to ourselves. No, we can't blow it off. It's Lou Di Maria's grandkid. Who the hell is Lou Di Maria? <laughs> uh, Lou Di Maria of Lou Di Maria Subaru? <laughs> Oh my God, I had no idea. Oh, He's an old friend of the family, okay? Look, I'll get the job done now. I'll figure a way to do it, all right? Come on, let's do it. You're hot, I love you, let's all do right. it. Come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah? I hear you're joining us for Lou's grandson's choir recital. We are so happy. <laughs> So you want to keep going? I or? couldn't make love to Julia Roberts right now. Okay, I need Hershey in a little tighter. Cupcake with the funny business. This is a family picture. And that's it. Now hold it. <laughs> now just wait for the flash. Arthur, I hadn't planned on you actually being in the photo. Why not? It's a picture of everyone you walk. Well, yeah, but I'm sending these to my clients, and I'm not sure they would understand that I walk a human being. <laughs> when they see your name on the list, I tell them you're a schnauzer. Just smile. Arthur, I don't think I really want to... Do, do it or you're fired! That's mine. Only 80 more seconds. Okay. I'm going to Sears. Fine. But if you're so worried about your picture being ruined, I'd worry about him. Buster? Something that ugly doesn't deserve a name. <gasps> Spence, my good man. Yeah, I'm here. Um, why did you want me to wear a green turtleneck? For our Christmas card, of course. Come again? A simple snapshot. You offer me these chocolate chip cookies, and I react with delight, thusly. Hmm. What, what ex exactly is our relationship that we're sending out a Christmas card together? 
buddies, confidants, two randy gents about town. Don't you think that seems joyous, inspired? Mm -hmm. Gay. Christmas is no time for bigotry. I'm not homophobic. I just don't want to be on a card with you. These aren't even real. Of course not. They're prop cookies. Real cookies photographed like buttons, idiot. Merry Christmas, Arthur. Good. Leave then. Now I don't have to explain to people how I befriended a lawn dwarf. Come on, new gift time. Okay, Let's go. Okay, Open okay, it up. Okay, 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 okay. Huh? <laughs> wow. Giraffes. Yeah. That is great. Because giraffes are your favorite animal. Your boss is not going to be giving you that, huh? Uh, no, he won't. <laughs> so you like it? I love it. So try it on. <laughs> so what time are uh, Deacon and Kelly coming over? Oh, they should be here any minute. I gotta hurry up. What are we eating? A Christmas goose? <laughs> I got chicken. Damn. I really go for goose. <laughs> or a tray of brownies. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna wear your giraffe sweater? Um, actually, I was gonna wear this because, um, Come on, I... Come babe, here. Put on the giraffe sweater. This would be great. <laughs> I think that would really look good with those pants, too. Black goes with everything. Honey, um, are you sure you're not so mad about this whole camera thing? Not at all. Are you sure? Because, because you do this sometimes. You, you bottle things up, and then sometimes they come out in these little hostile ways. What, what do you mean? Oh, wait a second. You don't like the sweater? Uh, well, I... Well, you think the giraffe sweater was hostile? You, you tell me. You think I bought you a bad sweater on purpose because I'm still upset about a camera? Like, like my sweater is so ugly it could have only been bought as a joke? Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> a beautiful giraffe sweater, a joke. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Look at my closet. You could see why maybe I would wonder why giraffes? You said they were your favorite animal! At the zoo, that doesn't mean I want to be one. You know what? I'm sorry I bought you a great camera and what I thought was a great sweater. Obviously, I bombed again. No, 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 Doug, no, listen to me. I, I'm sorry, I, I take it back. I love the sweater. You know what? I'm gonna put it on. No, 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 no now you're not allowed to. No, 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 you, no, no, hey, no you know no. what? I may not have great taste, but I got great Christmas spirit, which is more than I can say for you. I'm going down to greet our guest now. Police Navidad. <laughs> Rhymes with poinsettia. That's not an easy word to rhyme. Damn it, I just had it. Don't speak unless you're spoken to. You did just speak to me. You asked me what rhyme. I lost with it again. You are impossible. Stop yelling at me. I can't create in a hostile environment. Well, I wouldn't be so hostile if you had one ounce of talent. If you kick me again, I'm leaving. So it's just the choir down at the mall is supposed to debut our song tomorrow, and we haven't got diddly. Hey, believe me, I want this as bad as you, okay? I mean, I, I work in the subway and share a tiny apartment with another man, and I really want calf implants. I mean, this is my ticket. Your calves are spindly. Okay, you know what, let's back off poinsettia and, and, and let's focus on a word that's easier to rhyme, like uh, tree or holly. What did you say? Uh, holly. Holly! Now, what sounds Christmassy and rhymes with holly? Uh, jolly. You got it! Come here, you! As the kiss lay under the tree, we'll all be jolly as we hang the holly. Good golly! That's Christmas! 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 Bad, huh? Are you deaf? That was a train wreck. <laughs> I thought it went okay. It's hopelessly generic. It's pap! Yeah, we, we didn't blow too many people away, huh? Of course not. Because we're not saying anything that hasn't been said a thousand times before by Burr Lives, God rest his soul. Possibly. 
I have no idea if he's dead or alive. That's great. I gotta go call Dr. Blaustein, tell him to cancel my calf surgery. Wait, wait, wait. What did you just say? Um, calf surgery? No, no, no. Before that. I have to call? In the middle. Dr. Blaustein. Yes. He a Jewish fella? Yeah, why? That's it. What the world needs is a new Hanukkah song. Aside from dreidel, dreidel, and that Adam Sandler thing, it's an untapped market. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you know, I'm one-eighth Jewish. Sweet. I'm gonna grab a bagel and a schmear, settle up with the choir. Da. Hey! You know I have to die someday, but I'm gonna be really pissed off if it's today because of this. <laughs> So dead weird. <laughs> oh, I'm shaking. Oh, great. Something wrong with the car. Oh, really? You think so, Mr. Goodwrench? This thing's stalled again. Uh, it's probably one of those stupid belts. I'll take a look at it now. No, what are you doing? We're on the expressway. You're gonna get yourself killed. Relax. I got the hazards on, okay? I'm okay, I'm fine. I just pulled my cap off. Okay. You know, it really is disrespectful to the other chipmunks. You're preaching to the choir, Dad. Okay, I can fix this. I just need the screwdriver in the glove compartment. Not in here. What? I can't believe this. I, I know it's here. I keep it in here. Okay, it's not here. Told you. Where could it be? Did you lose it, Arthur? Pardon me, I did not lose your precious screwdriver. It's on my bed. I needed it to pry open some paint cans. What were you painting? Nothing. I found the cans in the basement, and I wanted to see the difference between Navajo white and eggshell white. Well, excuse me for being consumed with boredom. Not any quarrel that I have ever been party to. I ask nothing of you. I came here in the spirit of right goodwill, and I won't let you dampen it. So a Merry Christmas to you anyway, Uncle. Good evening. Humbug! Okay, okay, why are you doing that? What? Mouthing. What are you talking about? You're mouthing along to the movie. So I've seen the movie a hundred times. I know all the words. I understand that. But it's annoying. So then don't watch me. I wasn't watching you, OK? But I can see it in my peripheral vision, and it's distracting. It's peripheral. What did I say? You said peripheral. No, I didn't. OK, fine, you didn't. Can I, can I watch the movie no, now? Go ahead. It's a poor excuse for picking a man's pocket every 25th of December. Sure, I'm very it's peripheral. <laughs> For God's <laughs> sakes, wash your feet. They stink. Okay, it's not my feet, it's my socks. <laughs> well, burn them. <laughs> Funny you didn't have a problem with my feet when the stock was at 12. Okay, here we go. Look, Stinky, you're the one who begged me to buy back in just in time to ride the plummet. They got the approval. <laughs> right, the approval. Oh, I could sink my teeth into the approval. You know what? Why don't you sink your teeth into my ass? That's nice. That's nice. It's very ladylike. What a delicate little flower I married. Hmm? Well, Doug, at least I know not to buy high and sell low. Okay, so here's a tip. Why don't you buy yourself some instinct? You know what? You know what? That's a real good idea. I'll, I'll go down to the bank and I'll take out a little bit of my Christmas bonus. And oops, it never made it there. <laughs> you know what? You could pin this on me if you want to, Doug. But remember, you're the one who sold. You're the one who panicked. Oh, here it comes. Okay, go ahead, say it, say it. Chunky cost us money. Come on. Come on, say it. It doesn't matter. Well, Chunky did cost us money. I can't believe you just called me Chunky. <laughs> hey, kids, come here. I want to show you something. OK. Come on, double time. Come on, let's go quick, quick, quick. 
I uh, scrapped all the other junk and I went out and I got this. So what do you think? You know, I shouldn't have told you about my Christmas bonus in the first place. That's that. <laughs> oh, sure. Why don't we just sell the stock, hmm? It's just about low enough. All right, so. Good, and then when it goes back up on Monday, you'll be all, oh, Chunky, sorry. Oh, again, again with the Chunky? Yes. You back it yeah, down. Back Both of you, stop uh, it. There. How sad this is. It's Christmas Eve, and all you two can do is argue about a couple of nickels and dimes? Let me tell you something. The best Christmas I ever had was with your mother in our first house, the one in Flatbush. We were broke. We had no heat, no hot water, and a leaky roof. But we loved it. You know why? Because you had each other. Because we had vodka. <laughs> so now come in and let's have some shots. <laughs> <laughs> 